Happy Halloween, everyone. This update is long overdue, but finally here and so, so much to explore. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, and let's dive right in. So here we are. Now, you may recognize this. It is the same place the 1 billion visits event was. And yet this building has been knocked down yet again for the Halloween candy store. So, hello there, Ollie. Looking very smart today. Uh, we've got a cauldron in the middle here. We've got a Halloween leaderboard. Um, no one on there yet. But yeah, heading up the stairs, we've got this sort of treehouse looking thing. It's pretty cool. It's like low poly, low mid poly. Um, anyways, heading inside, we've got a load of decorations here. And we've got a witch. And for the first time in two years, I believe, the shop returns. Um, we have seven different items that we can purchase, going all the way from stamina potions to a limited vehicle. The invisible potion is pretty cheap, coming in at 13 orange candy. And as the name suggests, this will make you invisible for a limited time. Great for if you want to rob a bank or rob the jewelry store and be, I suppose, discreet about it. The Stamina Potion and Health Potion are 6 and 12 yellow candy, respectively, and they're both pretty straightforward with what they do, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. The Super Jump Potion is 5 red candy, and this is a fun one. This will boost your jumping power by 2 or 3 times, and you can go pretty high with this, I can tell you that. The Lantern is 10 orange candy, and I love this one so much, I really do hope they keep the Lantern in-game, and yeah, it looks great, and it lights up quite a big area. Now the last two, and possibly my favourite. The Halloween plate is 15 red candy, and as with previous years, this is a community designed plate. A few weeks ago, PLC announced this, and anyone could submit a Halloween plate to be put in the game. So congratulations. So congratulations to whoever's plate this is. I love the attention to detail on this, and yeah, possibly one of my favourite plates in game of all time. Last but not least is the 1995 Leyland Birchwood Hearse, and this is incredible. Now, a few years ago, you may remember we got the Ectomobile, uh, I believe it was a 2020 Halloween update, and that was the last time we got a limited time vehicle, I suppose you could call it, inside of your seat. Now with the hearse, it seats two people in the front, and there's also a partial interior. You can actually see into the back where there is a wooden coffin. Now, I really do hope they keep it in game longer than Halloween because it really deserves to stay in the game. And I can see this being used for so many different role plays. Driving around the hearse, you can definitely feel that it's a long and pretty heavy vehicle. But I mean, it handles pretty well and it's a decent speed for what it is. Of course, with all the new vehicles, it has a brake lights and turn signals and all that. And yeah, even just the fact that we can see into the back, see a wooden coffin in there, really nice detail. So make sure to collect these items whilst the Halloween update is out, be quick. And also just a quick heads up, the prices you see in game may be slightly different as the developers adjust them. So trick or treating, this is how you can actually earn the candy. And it's quite straightforward. You run up to any house in the map, you ring their doorbell, and as you can see, unlucky, that was a trick and we didn't get anything. Now you can track how much candy you have on the right side of your screen. Uh, so yellow, orange, and red candy respectively. And there we go, we got orange candy. And we are on our way to getting the jump potion, I think, or maybe the lantern, who knows. Either way, I'd say you only need to grind for maybe an hour tops to unlock all of the limited Halloween items. So honestly, not too bad. And you can get these relatively quickly. And I definitely recommend you do grind up to get the car and the plate. Those two are incredible. Now, the last thing we're going to check out on civilian is a new vehicle. So let's go to recently added. And look at this, the Falcon Coupe Hot Rod. This is a crazy looking vehicle. And it is part of the Classic Cars Game Pass, so do keep that in mind. But as I've said before, the Classic Cars Game Pass is one of the best, so I'd highly recommend you buy it if uh, you haven't already. But yeah, crazy, crazy looking car. Two of them spawned in right here. The back wheels are just insanely massive. You can see the exposed engine on the front there, the headlights. All of this together just wraps up an insanely crazy looking vehicle. And I do believe this is... And I do believe this is not Halloween exclusive, so this is in the game permanently. What a crazy looking car. We're going to do a quick drag race with uh, Ollie here. So, three, two, one, go. Very slow off the start, but you can see they get up to speed. There we go, up to 30, 40, 50 miles an hour down the hill. That's going to help us a bit. 
Let's do a bit of a top speed run here. 97 miles an hour. These these look like they could go over 200, to be perfectly honest. And I'm very sorry, Ollie. We're about to go into a bridge. So do I recommend this vehicle? And I suppose the classic car's game pass. Well, it's definitely not for everyone. But I can for sure see this being used at car meets a lot. And in a bunch of different role plays, I suppose. I'll let you decide. But I'm definitely using this for a few role plays. Small map change that I thought may be notable. Put in the video. But yeah, the river is red. I don't remember EOC ever... Uh, making the river red for Halloween, but it is. And not only that, but the waterfalls are also red. So it does really make me question what the power plant is uh, pumping out of there. You can see here in the downtown park as well, uh, on the edge of River City, blood red water. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty creepy. And yes, Detective Sirius is here because the murder mystery quest has returned. This is, I believe, the fourth year running that they've done this quest, and each year it seems to have built on the last. Now, I know other YouTubers are covering the murder mystery quest in their update video, and as a matter of fact, I saw Officer John and Amaze plays standing mere feet away from each other recording their videos. But for me, I'm going to be covering it separately. Why, you may ask? Well, there is a lot to cover. From the bits of it I've played so far, I can tell you it is 100% the best murder mystery quest ERC has added. There's so many different locations, questions to answer, and even lore to discover. I wanted to cover this in much more detail than I could fit in an update video, so keep an eye out for that video when it drops early morning on Halloween, as many clues and bits of lore have actually been missed by so many players. Well, that is all we'll be covering in today's update video. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing as it would help out the channel a lot. So excited to discover and complete the entire murder mystery quest, and this update, in my opinion at least, was definitely worth the wait.